Hey folks, we're looking at Bastilashan here from the gaming great Star Wars Black series. Um, based on the character from Knights of the Old Republic. And we've got the artwork of her on the side looking really, really good. Uh, we have seen this figure come to life in three and three quarter inch. Uh, first released in the vintage collection back in 2012. And then uh, re-released into the three and three quarter inch black series of 20. 2013 14 uh 13 i reckon might have been 14 can't remember it's going back now <laughs> so this is number 21 just reviewed darth malik it says bastila shan is a brash jedi knight during the jedi civil war of the old republic era bastila's affinity with the force presents a serious threat to darth malik and his sith fleet So there's a little hint of what's to come there. I'm not sure. It's the Star Forge at the top. I think that might actually be the uh, the rocket, the rocket stormtrooper. That might be there. These two together. Yeah, not sure. We'll move them out of the way. We'll take a look at the figure. Unfortunately, I don't have the three and three quarter inch one on hand. That would be very nice to have the two together to sort of compare them. <clears throat> Excuse me. So yeah, it's come down to come come out to be a quite a really nice nice looking figure. Um, her outfit's always been awesome. Love this sort of the sort of the sort of mustardy cream browns and the and the warm warm maroons. Um, the yellow double bladed lightsaber is awesome. The way Hasbro actually packed this in was with one blade removed and it was actually sort of embedded in in cardboard so even in the paper bag it wasn't going to wasn't going to warp or get bent um, so that was really really well packaged actually would I prefer it in a plastic tray to be able to see from the outside yes absolutely <laughs> but you know the, the blades come out really nicely so that's nice and easy Really cool looking design. So the blades pop in nice and easily as well. Fortunately, there is no place on her belt to peg to peg her blade. Um, some might say it's a downfall, but others, you know, it's not, not too but big of a deal. We're gonna pose her with it anyway, so we'll take a look at the figure all around. Probably one only sort of minor gripe I have is the uh, the sort of older legs they've reused here, uh, just with the pins. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure they've got some newer newer legs they could have reused. Um, but it is what it is. You know, once you know these sort of bits fall down the side, you can barely even tell. Not a big, not a big issue for me. You know, shoes or boots. Misery's articulation at the top of the boots. At the top of the torso, she does have the butterfly joints in there as well. Don't allow for a great deal of movement, but that's okay. It does have the sort of the new neck joint and head. The head sculpt is actually really nice too. So they've done a great job with that. She looks fantastic. I love the sculpt of the hair. The three ponytails on the back. Yeah, just a, just a really, really cool figure. I'm really glad to have her in the collection. Very nicely posable figure as well. And there's something about that dual blade that's just, just totally badass. I, I love the yellow blade. That was one of my favorite things about Rise of Skywalker when Rey ignited her new lightsaber and it was that sort of really bright 
sort of gold, gold yellow colour, which is, which, you know, a fantastic, I think it's just a really, really cool addition, you know, so, you know, it's a, opening up a new gateway, new, new colour of the sun and rebirth and all that good stuff. So just a really nicely sculpted figure. I'm really, really happy with this one. She looks really good. And it's nice to see Hasbro still showing a little bit of love for the, uh, the old expanded universe, AKA Legends. Still like to call it the EU. Zoom out a little bit and we'll stand her next to Darth Revan. And then I'll bring in Malik, who I did just review before this one. He's quite an imposing figure in comparison. Until you move him back, he looks like he's the same size. <laughs> But yeah, now having these three all together is really, really cool. I do wish Hasbro would sort of just embark a little bit more adventurously into other realms of, you know, publishing and I'd love to see some High Republic stuff, more Knights of the Old Republic stuff, some Old Republic stuff. We would love to see Satil shine. Um, some of those cool characters from the Old Republic. Uh, that'd be super duper awesome. But uh, yeah, we've just got to just got to hassle them a little bit more, <laughs> and they eventually they 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 do get to it. So, um, you know, if they know if they know they're in need, they, Hasbro do listen. Um, you know, d despite most of the time they do show that they sometimes they don't. Who knows? Yeah, I'm just starting to drool now, so I'm going to stop. <laughs> I appreciate you all watching. Thanks for tuning in. Um, yeah, sound out down below. Let me know what you think. So particularly these three figures together. I do have the Jedi Revan somewhere as well. Um, but yeah, appreciate your time. Until the next one, may the force be with you always.